Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody. So let's go back to the Forex. Uh, hopefully you have tired from the uh, holidays already. So you could go back to work. Uh, today we'll take a look at the British Pound just because on the euro currency market just has opened and we do not have something really new. We of course could speak about uh, our setup that we discussed in the vehicle report so I'll just show you briefly take a look at the four hour time from chart we suggested the starting a bit deep retracement and the same thing we have uh, suggested on the hourly chart in the shape of some head and shoulders or something and if you remember we have agreed to keep an eye on this level because this is important confidence support in this preferable area where market uh, should stay above it to keep the bullish context since the retracement just has started you could see market has opened with a gap up now the gap is closed, the market turning down a bit. I do not see something to do on your currency right now. So we're still watching for a support area and then make the decision on the possible position taken. If you would like to make the scalp short position, well, probably you could try to do this based on this. Well, it's not perfect, but some kind of the hand shoulder shape you probably could recognize here. It's left shoulder and hand, right arm. So maybe we will get some kind of the ABCD pattern. It's mostly all the stuff we have discussed in the weekly report. Meantime, since we're relatively rare, take a look at other currencies. Let's take a look what's going on in the British pound. Here's our general two moments to discuss. First of all, if we return back to our long-term trade that have me have been completed and we have traded it, if you remember, to the upside. This is our bread and butter, taking position with closing about the 618, and since then. You can see the whole December market stands mostly in the same tight range. But result of this bread and butter, take a look, we've got the huge monthly morning star pattern. It suggests at least by technical analysis, it suggests the upper direction here. Continuation in some shape of the A, B, C bottom D pattern. And major question currently is to identify the points where theoretical upper direction could be reestablished on the lower time frames, on the vehicle and daily chart in particular. This is the first moment. But at the same time, there's tricky moment exists, as we have mentioned in our uh, Telegram channel, this big hedge fund uh, open large short positions on the cable, as they suggest that the Bank of England will turn to the dovish policy and uh, that should depress the performance of the Great British Pound. Besides, the statistics on the economy in the United Kingdom are shows, uh, well, not really good numbers in recent few months. So I would say even worse than in the European Union, definitely worse than in the United States. And from that standpoint, that uh, at least based on the fundamental approach keeps to open that this pattern might not work. So maybe we could get this downward action. So this makes trading on the grid cable right now is a bit tricky. And uh, the one of the possible ways that we could follow in this approach is trying to identify some special areas where it will be more or less safe to make an attempt to take position. This is the areas that led us to take position and if even we will be wrong, we could at least count on some technical bounds just because of the stre strength of these levels. Uh, it will be some uh, mechanical pullback um, that led us to protect our position with a break-even stop. Uh, so this is the way how currently it's better to deal with the cable because hedge funds take in the short positions while here we have potentially bullish pattern and oh, it's a bit tricky, especially if I will show you what's going on on the daily chart. On the weekly, here we have nothing really interesting, mostly market stands in the tight range, but if we'll take a look at the daily, we've got the grubbers here guys which is also potentially bearish and increased risk of the possible downward continuation 
For example, if this grabber will work, that we have. In fact, I have checked the same grabber on uh, Chicago Mercantile Exchange. So we also have this uh, pattern on the futures market. And if it will work, potentially it could lead us to this pattern, right? So it might be hand showers and potentially deeper downside retracement. So getting this grabber together with the position of the hedge funds uh, so it makes probably us think about the bearish scenario as well. That this could happen. Besides here, this is kind of the performance that I call usually as two session grabber. So uh, it takes two sessions when the trend change in opposite direction right on the next session and it very often works in the same manner as a common grubber just single candle grubber so here is we have something of this kind here we do not have the grubber but it makes no sense actually uh, that's what we have on the table these factors for trading on the cable what we're going to do in the current situation and the divergence right so here's we also have the divergence with these tops uh, on the lower time frames, you could see that the market stands in a tight consolidation. Actually, it takes shape on some flag on a daily chart. And depending on what direction the market will follow out from this flag, it probably will become the direction and an extension that will follow on a breakout. So downside breakout will, will mean that the grower starts working and the monthly morning star probably will fail. In this case, market should return back down to the 25 area. And we will we could get the hand shorters while upper breakout means that market probably will follow with this uh, pattern that we have on the monthly chart and it might be some kind of the a b c bottom d pattern to the upside so everything right now is focused in this minor flag consolidation where we have to keep an eye on the positions and as i said we need to identify levels that more or less uh, suitable for position taking considering taking some positions that minimize our risk if we'll take a look at the hourly chart here inside this channel i mean the flag channel so we have got the tipple to sell market completes the first target and completes the 30 percent retracement here and at the same time we have this abc pattern that op creates an agreement with the 26 6, uh, 2652 level this is nice area this is the first level that you could consider for example if you'd like to take the long position so if even we will be wrong and market later will break it down at the first touch of this level it's high probability that we will we could get some bounce and that led us to protect the position if we will be right from that point market really could start up protection and uh correspondingly the next step might be the butterfly here as usually happens you you probably already know that about this uh, and then we're going with this large abcd to the upside so that's approximately how the situation could develop if in turn this level will be broken down and market start falling back to the lows that increased chances that uh, flag might be broken to the downside and actually uh, so grabbers could start to work by the way if we uh, uh, here we don't have the 30 percent level from this so we have only the 618 right there so that's approximately uh, what we could consider in the nearest time on the cable so as you can see it situation stays a bit tricky because we have different passions in uh, different time frames monthly of course seems more important but uh, it uh, t relates tightly to fundamentals and hedge funds do not believe in the fundamental fundamentals in the united kingdom suggesting that uh, cable should become weaker in the nearest time so an additional bearish grabber makes us consider that indeed market could keep dropping that's why we suggest that our first level that we need to keep an eye on is around 2650 and here we could try to make some first attempt for position taking uh, besides we do not need to place too close too far stop so probably initially we stop could place just below this area or save a lot of money if we will be wrong so uh, that in two words that we have on the cable let's see how situation will develop